comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So a few of you are worried that I'm going to get led astray in Europe and I suppose it is a slight concern. I'm going into the belly of the fucking beast. Fucking London. My old man was saying it's so cool just walking around. You see these old pubs from like the 1500s. You go in, you have to duck your fucking head because people were fucking hobbits back then. Just him saying that got the blood boiling. So that's London. Legendary fucking drinking town. Then you've got Edinburgh, Scotland. Legendary drinking town. During a legendary fucking drinking period. The Fringe Festival. 24-7 fucking chaos madness. Then straight from fucking Edinburgh into the fucking heart of the lion. Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. I have a feeling my fucking boil genes are just going to be activated as soon as I hit Ireland. My DNA, which has been lying dormant all these years, well, three years, will just switch on and activate like fucking, like a fucking loose Captain Planet. I'm worried about Ireland because it's not going to feel right not drinking being in Ireland. That's where it's going to fucking sting. It would have been fucking nice mixing it up with some mix in their fucking hometown on the hallowed turf. Now I've just got to take like selfies out the front of the pubs. I'm going to be hanging in the pubs as well. I'm going to be sitting in pubs in dank, dark fucking pubs. That's the only thing that fucking excites me as well. When I see fucking people at Tomorrowland and shit, my sister-in-law's going to Tomorrowland in fucking Belgium. I see all these fucking photos from these big festivals and I'm like, I would rather nosedive off the Sydney Harbour Bridge than go to one of these fucking events. But I fucking walk past a pub, a shit fucking dank pub with like two people in it, an old guy smoking a dart out the front and fucking, I'm just like, fucking, I just want to walk in there buy a pint, two shots of gin, and just drink myself to death. That's my only fantasy, is drinking myself to death. (laughs) Not a fucking just joyful couple of drinks. Just fucking put the foot on the accelerator and just never let up. I don't miss partying at all. I miss the slow suicide. That's probably why I had to quit drinking, to be honest with you. So I'm going to these fucking legendary, historic, European fucking booze pits. Places I've always dreamt about fucking drinking. And I'm just going to be sitting at the bar like Leonardo DiCaprio in the fucking Departed with a cranberry juice. And I'll probably just have to fucking smash a bottle over some cunt's head just to keep myself fucking interested. So, I'm not going to lie, there is challenges ahead. But in all honesty, I'm going in relatively focused. I just want to do my fucking shows in Edinburgh. I want my fucking hour to be fucking strong as fuck. Then I want to get to fucking Ireland, put on a fucking show for the fucking Irish. The Irish. And then the last show, 27th of August in London. Maybe after that show... Have a little fucking after party somewhere. Hang out for the night. Meet all you cunts. And that would be cool. Where I would get in trouble is if I left the door ajar to do some drugs. That would be trouble. And I have left that door ajar. But I'm fucking closing it now. There will be no drugs on the European tour. Maybe after the London show. Maybe the final fucking night. After the London show, maybe I'll let the fucking follicles out a little bit. Let them drop out, but more than likely not. As long as I've got gigs to do and I've got this podcast to do, I can't fuck up too bad. I can definitely fuck up too bad. I think as long as I don't do coke with Horn on the train ride from Heathrow to his place, I think I'll be alright. If I can get through that like hour and a half, then it'll be fucking smooth sailing. But in all honesty... If I can make it through this month, then I don't think there's going to be a more tempting time. Like I'm really going into the fucking belly of the beast. This will definitely be the most temptation I've felt. The other thing is doing these gigs all the time, it really fucks you up physically as well and mentally. 
Like after every show, you just have these fucking huge like adrenaline dumps. It's really hard to fucking process. I don't know the emotion of it. It's a physical thing as well. It's exhausting. That's why like comedians drink afterwards or smoke weed or something. I eat. Even last night, I got a fucking double dog and then I went and got a kebab and fucking chips. It was a half an hour drive from the end of finishing my double dog to the kebab joint. 15 minutes in, I'm like, I'm getting a kebab. I need something else. And when I got to the kebab joint, I fucking go, I need more than just a kebab. I need some fucking chips too. So that's how I process the adrenaline or emotion. But my fucking nutritionist friend, Natalie, she told me to get on the fucking magnesium citrate and glycine. She said she's been taking it after a day of looking after her kids and it just fucking mellows you out. It fucking helps with the adrenal gland or some shit like that. This is unprompted. She's like, you should probably take it after your gigs to regulate your fucking mood. And I'm like, fucking all I do after gigs is just eat and I can't stop eating. So let's see if that works. Anyway, thank you for being concerned, people. And you do have reason to be concerned, but I'm going to be very wary of what I do, which steps I take. And hopefully I can get through this unscathed. Anyway, that'll do for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. Add me on social media on Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you're in Ireland, my show's on the 25th of August. Get tickets on my website. If you're in London, my show is on the 27th at Vaux Hall Comedy Club. Tickets on my website. And if you're going to be in Edinburgh, I will be doing shows from the 4th to the 19th of August. Also, tickets on my website, boilcomedy.com. Get on it, and I'll see you the fuck later.